Hello everyone! Today I will introduce you to how to draw an oil painting on an iPad. One of my viewers told me about the app we will be using today and it's called RSet4. Using this app, anyone can draw realistic oil paintings. I was super impressed when I used it for the first time. You can use other apps to draw oil paintings. For example, there is an oil painting brush in Procreate. But today I want to show you this app since it takes your drawing to the next level. About the app, you can download it for free. but you only have limited access to the features. For example, there are 30 different types of brushes in total here, but you can only use 10 of them for free. Just the top part of the brush selection here. So if you want to use more brushes, or if you want to use a layer feature, which is also not available for free, you have to buy the pay version of this app, and it will be around $12. It's a one-time payment, and you have immediate access to all of the features on the app. I used the free version several times, and then I decided to get the full version of this app. Today I want to introduce you to this brush called Oil Paint. This brush lets you paint with realistic and three-dimensional brush strokes, especially when you put layer on oil paint. So today I'll be talking about this stuff, and join something at the same time. The oil paint brush is available in the free version of the app, so if you're interested, please go check it out and download it. Now I want to start drawing. Today we'll be drawing two things, a very orthodox oil painting of apple and an oil painting of Tabasco. As for the apple, I will only use free features to draw it, and for the Tabasco, I'll be using paid features, like the layer feature and different brushes to draw it, so I hope you can see the differences between the free version and the paid version. Right now I'm using the oil pen brush and drawing random strokes. But look, isn't this so cool? I'm not sure if you can see it well, but look at how realistic the clumps of paint look when the paint is layered on top of each other. I really want you to try it sometime. The more you layer the paint, the bigger the clumps they get. And if you use a different color, the color gets mixed smoothly and realistically. I'm using this black color to create the shadows on the apple right now. But if you feel like you painted too much, don't use the eraser and use the first red paint we use to color over the area you want to erase and adjust. Those who draw oil paintings should know, but you should layer over paint instead of erasing using the eraser. Next, we'll be coloring the highlights. I want to draw in a way that the sunlight is hitting the apple from the top left side so I'll be coloring it using yellow. Here's a tip on how to paint this part well. Don't draw it in one stroke, but dab on the painting using your brush. If you do that, your artwork will appear more three-dimensional, so I wouldn't recommend using strokes. By adding details little by little, you can create traditional oil paintings on a digital platform. In Procreate, there are oil paint brushes and acrylic brushes, but you can tell once you use them, but it feels really flat and it doesn't look realistic like this. So if you want to draw something simple, then Procreate will be enough. But if you want to draw a more traditional style of oil painting, just like how they're drawn on paper, then I'll recommend using RSet4. There is also a watercolor version for RSet4, which looks very realistic as well, so I suggest trying it out too.
Here is the finished drawing of an apple. The shadow on the apple looks a little rusty, but the point here is to show you how oil painting can be done easily. I only use the oil paint brush to draw this apple. There is also only one layer, and all I did was to keep layering paint on top of each other to create this drawing. So if you own the free version of the app, then you can create oil painting like this. So please check it out. Now I want to start drawing using features on the paid version of the app. I want to draw Tabasco. I had this sudden urge to draw Tabasco, so I will try my best to call oil painting of it. First I'm going to grab this black color for the oil paint brush and fill in the background. There is a feature on the paid version which lets you fill up the background immediately, but this time I want to keep it traditional. So I'm going to do it manually. Once you're done filling up the background, I'll be adding another layer. There is a plus button at the bottom, so click on that and then click on layer. Then a layer panel should pop up, so click on the plus button at the bottom right to add a new layer. Here I'm going to draw a rough draft of the Tabasco. Just like this, once you've roughly drawn the Tabasco, I want to adjust the position. Right now, the bottle is placed a little too low, so I want to bring it up a little. To do so, click on the plus button just like last time, and then click on the move function. This will let you move the bottle around like this. This is another tool that's only available on the paid version of this app. I wish there were more features available on the free version, but unfortunately, this is only available on the paid version. Now add another layer, and I want to start painting on top of the rough draft. I'm going to paint very roughly, like an oil painting, and I want it to look a little aggressive, so I'm going to color it without caring about the shape. Next, I'm going to add a new layer to draw the neck of the bottle, with a green label. Like this, I'm done drawing the bottle. Just like the apple in the previous drawing, I want it to look as if the light is coming in from the left side. So I drew highlights on the left side and shadows on the right side. Lastly, I'm going to add one more layer to create the label in the middle of the Tabasco bottle. Even if you use the white paint, it will still be realistic and 3D. The color might be off a bit, but it will still look three-dimensional. This is off topic, but I really like spicy things like this. So I do like Tabasco, Japanese mustard and wasabi a lot, and whenever I had a chance to, I would put a lot of them on my food. Summer is also coming soon, so I think I'll be eating a lot of spicy foods to cheer myself up. I'm working on a series of illustrations of food right now, but I've been only drawing foods that I like, such as tuna, tabasco, avocado, and a hamburger. I've only drawn my favorite foods, so if you all have any foods that you want me to draw, please leave your comment down below. Someone asked me to draw a croquette a while ago, so I think I'll be drawing that next time. I'm always up for your ideas, so please comment down below. And now the drawing is complete. 
You can also add some final touches by adding shadows on the label as well. And it's complete. The shape does look a little distorted, but it kind of makes the oil painting more realistic. So I think it's pretty good. And I want to finish here. If you zoom in, can you see the textures and how it looks like a real painting? It looks so much like traditional oil painting. You definitely can do this on Procreate. So this is what makes this app so amazing. Thank you to whoever told me about this app. To remind you again, it's called RCF4. I highly encourage you all to download it. I think I'll use this app to draw oil paintings whenever I have an urge to draw them. Adobe will be releasing Adobe Fresco soon, and their oil painting features seem really good as well. So once that is released, I think I'll be making video comparing Adobe Fresco and our set 4. So please stay tuned. That's all for today. If you liked this video, click the like button down below. And thank you for watching my video. Bye bye!